Hey guys, welcome back. Bonjour tout le monde. That was freaking sick. I am actually here right now. Time for the stadium fact of the day. It's time for best in the ballpark. This place is insane. It's a final here from the Target Centers. I am checking off a bucket list for one stadium at a time. Hey guys, welcome back to Garrett Stadium Travel. This is stadium vlog number 26. Right now, I'm in Dallas, Texas, and tonight I'm going to watch the Dallas Mavericks take on the Cleveland Cavaliers at American Airlines Center. It's going to be a super busy day. I slept in kind of late, got my flights delayed last night a couple of times, but we're here. Going to explore some of downtown Dallas and then head off to the game when it's time. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm up here in the 300 terrace level of American Airlines Center and it's time for the stadium fact of the day. The stadium fact of the day is all about Texas. The outer facade of the AAC was designed with brick, granite, and limestone all harvested in Texas, creating not only a really cool looking exterior design, but also keeping the materials homegrown. I'm gonna explore this place a bit more, grab some food, and then hopefully enjoy a great game. Let's go.
It's a final here from American Airlines Center. The Cavaliers won this one, 113-110. The Mavericks blew it down the stretch. Uh, they were winning pretty much the entire game, but the Cavs showed their poise and took this one. 39 points for Luka Doncic. There was a little bit of Luka magic at the end of this game, but it just wasn't enough tonight. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the hotel and then tell you guys what I saw. Peace out for now. Hey guys, just got back to the hotel. Uh, it was a pretty good game. Uh, the Mavs blew it, showed a little emotion for the home team there. Um, yeah, they blew it down the stretch. Luka wasn't making shots. The the guys, the Mavs, weren't making shots, and uh, they ultimately lost the game because of it. Uh, there's some clips of Luka showing some emotion after the game, and I would be that mad as well. Uh, so I'm going to tell you guys what I saw from American Airlines Center. So first up is the atmosphere. The atmosphere I thought was pretty good. Uh, the crowd was loud. They did have to be coaxed, though, so they did get loud, but they did have to be told to be loud. There was good entertainment from the fan games to performances. All that stuff was really good, and lots of t-shirt tosses. Obviously, all the fans love those, so I thought atmosphere was done pretty well. Next up is venue. Uh, I don't like to look at rankings for stadiums before I go to, or I, or I don't look at them. I like to you know, make my own opinion, formulate my own opinion. And from the ones I did see, American Airlines Center, in terms of NBA arenas, wasn't around the top for any of them that I saw. I really like this place. The outside, the outer facade is really cool. The stadium fact of the day mentions that. And uh, yeah, the inside's really cool. I like the roof design, how it's a really huge. I mean, it's huge. It makes the arena look way bigger than it actually is. And the concourses. The concourses were really cool. I really liked those aspects of this place. It's uh, it's not a boring arena. It screams Texas, which you always love to see uh, an arena take the identity of the place that it is in. Uh, next up is access. Access is really good as well. Uh, the dart trains 
Dallas Area Rapid Transit, a station right close to the uh, close to the Arena Victory. It gets you north, south, and not as much east and west, but it gets to a lot of the suburbs, gets you hopefully closer to where home is, where your hotel is, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there's also a lot of parking and pretty good highway access from the arena, so access was probably the best part of this arena. And next up is pricing. Pricing uh, brings this arena down. There aren't a lot of affordable tickets at this place. Because of the smaller upper bowl and the big lower bowl, there's not a lot of like your cheap tickets. Like you'll be able to see an NBA game, 20 bucks, 10 bucks for some teams to have that affordable option. But Dallas just doesn't have that. I think their cheapest tickets were like 40, 50 bucks, which I mean, in the grand scheme of things, isn't too much money. But when you're buying, you know, four tickets or for a family and stuff, it can get pricey. So having those value options are good. And I didn't see that from the Mavericks. So that brings it down. And obviously, like always, the concession prices are you know pretty average expensive average for arenas but expensive in the grand scheme of things but yeah that's everything i got uh so the final ranking for american airlines center for the mavericks is a seven for atmosphere an eight for venue a nine for access and a four for pricing bringing it to a total of 28 out of 40. now that seems to like kind of an average kind of below average um rating obviously i think the arena itself is really cool but kind of Everything else outside of access uh, br brings it down a bit, but I did enjoy my time here. Uh, I'm excited to see what the Dallas Stars can do, if their experience is any different. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, sports content, stadium content, I'm traveling around North America, going to see pro sports at every arena. So um, yeah, if you like this kind of content, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, share, all that stuff. So uh, yeah. As always, I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.